Hello, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to another episode of Around the World. The Indo-Pacific region has been attracting the world's attention for the last several years, where India and China are competing to establish their dominance in their own ways. For this reason, a game of checkmate continues in the Indo-Pacific region almost every day. In such a situation, the role of the island countries present here becomes important. Maldives is one such country in the list of these countries. Due to historical relations and geographical proximity, this country has been under the influence of India for a long time. Relations between the two have been friendly from the beginning with a few exceptions. But the recent dispute has given a new shape to the relationship between the two countries. Actually, few days ago, Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached Lakshadweep, where he shared beautiful pictures on social media, after which people started comparing Lakshadweep with Maldives. Angered by this comparison, three ministers of Maldives made objectionable comments on PM Modi. The Indian government lodged its objection on this incident through the official channel, after which the Maldives government suspended the three ministers with immediate effect and said that these were their personal views and government of Maldives have nothing to do with such comments. This matter is yet to cool down and new twist is coming day by day in this controversy. In such a situation, the question arises that what effect will this dispute have on the relationship between India and Maldives? What has been the history of relations between the two countries? Is China trying to take advantage of the tension between the two countries? Let us talk about these questions one by one. In the first week of January, some pictures come out from Lakshadweep in which Prime Minister Narendra Modi talked about the beauty and adventure of the islands. If we talk about geographical location of Lakshadweep, it is situated in the Arabian Sea, about 440 km away from the coastal area of Kerala. Lakshadweep, India's smallest union territory, consists of 36 islands. It consists of 12 atolls, 3 reefs, 5 submerged banks and 10 inhabited islands. Due to natural landscape, sandy beaches and exciting activities, this UT is an attractive centre of tourism. This is the reason that the name of Maldives came up after PM Modi's visit to Lakshadweep. Here, it is worth noting that PM Modi did not mention Maldives anywhere in his post, but people aware public of social media connected it with Maldives. So why are these people once connected by the bond of friendship seen separated from each other nowadays? Recently, Mohammed Muizu has been elected the new president of Maldives. He had resorted to anti-India issues in his election campaign. Also, his alliance has launched the campaign of India Out. Furthermore, Muizu has had close ties with China. This is the reason why his image has been widely seen in Maldives as a sympathetic to China's interest and also that of anti-India. After becoming the president, he has also amplified his image through some of his decision. Muizu has decided to expel Indian troops from Maldives. However, this image of his has been further strengthened by his decision to go to Turkey. This is because earlier the new president of Maldives used to visit India first after taking oath. But breaking this tradition, he visited Turkey and amid all these controversies, he is on a five-day visit to China. According to foreign affairs experts, President Muizu's visit to China is very important in many ways. According to media reports, there were talks between the two countries regarding issues of mutual interest as well as increasing cooperation. If we look at the relationship between China and Maldives, diplomatic relations between the two started in the year 1972. After this, Maldives opened its embassy in China in 2009 and China opened its embassy in Maldives in 2011. In 2017, Maldives signed a free trade agreement with China. In the year 2014, 
China assisted 1.6 million dollars to Maldives. Along with this, Maldives has also joined China's BRI, that is Belt and Road Project. Now, if the dispute between India and Maldives increases, then China will not miss any opportunity to take advantage of it. Actually, Maldives is a country of about 1,200 islands in the Indian Ocean, which has a population of more than 5 lakhs. Its geographical location in the Indian Ocean makes it extremely important for Indian and Chinese strategy. It is noteworthy that Maldives has been receiving economic and military help from India for a long time. But strategically, it is also very important for China due to its geographical location. China will get a golden opportunity to increase its dominance in the Indian Ocean through Maldives. Apart from this, it can also try to threaten India as well as America by increasing its influence in the Indian Ocean. Maldives will prove beneficial for China not only at the geographical level but also at the global political level. This is the reason why China is trying to serve its own interest by inflaming the India-Maldives dispute. On the other hand, if we look at the pages of history, there has been very strong bilateral cooperation between India and Maldives. This cooperation is clearly visible in defense and social and economic fields. It can be understood from this that India also plays an important role in the development of the infrastructure of Maldives. In 1988, when a coup attempt was made in Maldives, neither America nor Britain nor any big country came forward to help Maldives. In this situation, India extended a helping hand and under Operation Cactus, paratroopers and naval warships reached the Maldives where they rescued the president and handed over the control of the capital back to the Maldives government. The intervention of the Indian armed forces had foiled a coup attempt in Maldives. Apart from this, India has a financial involvement of about $2.2 billion in Maldives in terms of both loans and grants. At the same time, India is one of the largest source of tourism earnings for Maldives. Apart from this, it is also heavily dependent on India for food and oil imports. In the year 2022, there was a trade of Rs 4,185 crore between India and Maldives in which India sent goods worth Rs 4,131 crore to Maldives. Not only this, even when the whole world was fighting with corona epidemic, India had given about 1 lakh vaccine doses to Maldives as help. But President Muizu wants to reduce his dependence on India. According to experts, the new government of Maldives wants to restructure the loans. This is the reason why President Muizu has turned to Turkey as his first foreign visit. It is worth noting here that Mohammed Muizu had visited the United Arab Emirates before taking the oath of office as president. During this time, he was assured that under the Abu Dhabi fund, Maldives would be given $80 million for the Malay airport project. Due to this reason, he had now gone to Turkey and is currently on a trip to China. In such a situation, it is natural to raise the question whether Maldives will be able to move away from India. So the answer is no. It is not easy for Maldives to move away from India. First of all, its geopolitical situation is such that Maldives cannot go against India. India is its closest neighbor, so most of its trade is done with India or through India. In such a situation, by spoiling its relations with India, it can neither give priority to its development work nor improve its economic situation. Maldives also has to restructure its debt because it has a huge debt, but it cannot do this without India's cooperation. India has always provided economic assistance to Maldives from time to time. Now, India has also announced an additional loan of $134 million for the expansion of Malay Airport. Apart from this, the economy of this country primarily depends on tourism and fisheries, and Indians accounts for a major portion of foreign tourists visiting Maldives. Also, India is the main destination for the people of Maldives for jobs, studies and treatment. Apart from this, there are many such agreements. Leaving them midway will prove to be a loss-making deal for Maldives. In such a situation, if India-Maldives relations deteriorate, it will affect all of them also. This means clearly that it will not be easy for Maldives to go against India. 
Now it is the turn of Sunday special episode in which we will talk about some other important international developments. Recently, French President Emmanuel Macron appointed Gabriel Attal as the new Prime Minister of the country. And with this 34-year-old Gabriel has become the youngest Prime Minister of France. According to opinion polls in France, Gabriel was nominated for the post. Prime Minister Gabriel previously held the post of Education Minister in the French Cabinet. Whereas under the French political system, the Prime Minister is appointed by the President and is held accountable to the Parliament. Gabriel Attal replaces outgoing Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne, who resigned amid a cabinet reshuffle. Amid the ongoing dispute in the Red Sea, US and British forces shot down 21 drones and missiles fired by the Yemen-based Houthi group towards international shipping lanes. Actually, in protest against Israel's war in Gaza, the Iran-backed Houthi group has intensified attacks on commercial ships in the Red Sea, due to which the ships going through the Red Sea have to change the route and take a long journey around Africa. As container ships are diverted around the Cape of Good Hope at the southern tip of Africa, adding thousands of miles to the journey, the disruption is causing the cost of shipments from Asia to Europe to rise. Because of this, various shipping lines have suspended operations rather than make such long journeys. Recently, Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh reached the United Kingdom. During this, both the countries signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Bilateral International Cadet Exchange Programme and a Letter of Arrangement that is LOA on Defence Cooperation in Research and Development. During this, both the ministers discussed many matters of defence, security and cooperation, with special emphasis on increasing defence industrial cooperation. It is noteworthy that this is the first visit of the Indian Defence Minister to Britain after more than two decades. Before this, in 2002, the Defence Minister George Fernandes had visited UK. Now moving on to question based on today's bulletin. Review the relations between India and Maldives at the geopolitical level in the current environment.